Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. I've got a new chainsaw. It's an Oregon CS300, battery operated. If you've got a little bit of time and a coffee, stick around. We're gonna take a look at this chainsaw, go through the specs, and I give you the first run today out at the log pile. Cheers. The CS300 by Oregon, it's just one of the many different tools that they have in their cordless tool system. It's a battery operated chainsaw. Let's take a look at the specs. Saw of course has a chain brake, 16 inch bar, simple easy unlock and chain adjustment without having to open up the compartment. Battery slides in the back, simple locking mechanism. Oil reservoir is here on the side. And it also has a small window into that reservoir so you can always see how much bar oil you've got left in the machine. Six inches. So other than being battery powered instead of gas powered, it's pretty similar to any other 16 inch chainsaw I've ever used. With one big difference. This is the only chainsaw on the market that's self-sharpening. As you're probably aware, Oregon is a US-based company and was in fact started in Oregon in 1947 with a revolutionary new chain design, which is now primarily the same shape and type of chain that is in use today for pretty much any saw that you can buy. and it looks like they've done it again with their PowerSharp technology. There's a sharpening stone built right into the housing. Run the saw, pull back on the stone for three to five seconds, it'll sharpen your chain on the fly. And then you continue cutting. So 
saw it came with everything I needed. Battery charger, battery, all the components. It took me maybe five minutes to put it together and it's ready to go after you've charged the battery. It comes in three different configurations. You can get it with a 2.6, a 4, or a 6 amp hour battery, and they're lithium ion batteries. Oregon also mentioned that they've designed their batteries in such a way to try to maintain maximum power throughout the discharge curve of this battery. In other words, as you're cutting wood and you're using power, as the voltage drops, the battery has been designed to increase current to maintain that power as long as possible through that discharge curve. We're about to find out. All in, the unit weighs 13 pounds. Six. Battery's been down to one bar for a while now, so I'm not sure cutting bigger stuff. We'll see how long it lasts, but I'm pretty sure she's just about out.
be still going. All right, seven and a half. This has got to finish off that battery. Yep, battery's out. But let's see if we get one more by. Did pretty good for a first time. In all fairness, I cut some big stuff there, but it's all hardwood. We filled up this trailer. This trailer will hold just under a half a face cord, and she's full, as you can see. At 46 minutes and 53 seconds, um, at just over 17 minutes at the house this morning, so call it 47 and 17, an hour and four minutes of actual run time. I made sure I kept running back and stopping the, the timer until I was cutting again. So that's one hour, four minutes of run time. Not bad. It's the first time using the saw today, so I had to get used to it. And quite often when I'm sawing with a gas saw, I'll often ease off the trigger every once in a while. You probably noticed on a few of the logs, the chain would just all of a sudden stop. And that's because I started easing off on the trigger too much. And I'd have to start again by pushing the trigger lock. I'll get used to it. Well. That's about a wrap for the day. Special thanks out to the good folks at Oregon for providing us out the CS300 electric chainsaw. Did pretty good for a first time, I think. I'm looking forward to getting the battery charged up and I'm gonna use it over the coming months. And I'll get back and do yet another review on it towards the end of the summer after I've had a few months under my belt. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button. And if you wanna know when I'm posting more videos, just click that little bell. Thanks very much for sticking around today. I hope you enjoyed it, or at least found it informative. Have a wonderful week with your family. Have a safe week, and most of all, please be kind. I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.